Okay, I want to evaluate your other uh, your other run here <clears throat> and just kind of walk you through what I'm seeing. And I just figured I'm going to nitpick the hell out of this thing just for fun because, you know, what the hell. It's a little notchier of a recording. I don't know if it's uh, recorded as high a level as the other one, but <clears throat> we're going to get going on here. So uh, it's going to be a little notchy. My apologies. So first of all, obviously balance ball, right? We talk about balance ball. Um, the other thing I keep talking to you about, I harp on and it's a technique thing. Make sure that this clutch is humming before you throw over lean angle. Through this section, it's a pretty slow, tight spot. So I do believe you have this thing in the gray area generally through here because it's not fast enough where you're going to be completely engaging the clutch and then pulling it back in. You're more or less just slipping the clutch through this whole section. But still, I talked to you about popping that clutch a little to pick that bike up. Here's a prime example of where you can do that. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Remember, I was doing that with the clutch to show you. So that's something you can be doing through sections like this to pop that bike up a little quicker. Um, <clears throat> now we want to talk about steering to the outside cone. I know I've mentioned that to you a few times, okay? So what do I mean by steering to the outside cone? Well, let's back this up just one little notch there. Look where the turn is. And I understand you don't necessarily need all that, but when you start asking, where am I going? Where should I be? You might need to be or want to be over here for a better setup, okay? Just a thought there. So uh, here we are. We're uh, Also remember, look, you're straight up and down in that seat. We want to counterbalance, okay? So where are we going? So you're not hitting anything here, but now we're shifting. Okay, so <clears throat> again, like on kind of on the last one, we have a lot of real estate right here that we could be using. So you got about a foot or two. And understand that you don't have to pull that off in this pattern. But if you can start riding smarter like that, where you're really using on those outsides and really over-exaggerating your setup uh, and really counterbalancing better and really making sure that clutch and throttle is set before you start throwing this bike over, all those little things make cone patterns so much easier. Um, and, and I'm not saying this to be cocky, but I could go through something like this really really easy and have fun with it and not struggle at all but it's because of all those little things think about this for a second you're going through this turn you and i aren't riding the same pattern you're riding a tighter pattern than me you're turning right here well when i turn maybe i'm over here so practically speaking you're riding a more challenging pattern than i am even though we're in the same set of cones think about it okay so here we are now um Hold on, I think I was going to walk you through something here. Okay, so again, counterbalancing. You're you're almost leaned inside on that one versus outside, okay? So I want you to think about that too. That's kind of important, how your body's leaned out. Um, now, right here, that whole section, okay, that was what, something I wanted to show you. Let's, let's take a look quickly at what you're doing. You're coming out of a turn, right? You know how I was showing you, I was drawing some of these turns. You can link them into one long progressive uh, turn. So let's watch your body. So you make your turn. Look, you're straight up now. You've kind of set the bike back up. So two things here. One, you could keep leaned over and be accelerating through here. So I wouldn't I wouldn't sit back up and look. You're, it's pretty clear you're looking at this as two things. So here's your turn. Here's the straight. See, so you're straight up and down, and then there's your turn again. So a couple of thoughts with that is, one, take a look at this as a continuous turn, and two, accelerate, accelerate, accelerate. Here's one of those obvious areas where I'm going to make two tenths on you uh, because you're straight up and down, but you're going kind of slower. Uh, and no, make this all one fast spot. So now we're going to go through this little chicane. Um, that's fine. Uh, now you're going into the circle. So let's take a look at where you're turning. All right. So here's the circle. So here, first of all, can counterbalance. You had a little bit more room, but remember we start talking about, um, kind of a balloon shape rather than a circle shape. Okay. So you could go deeper here. And why is that going to matter? Again, we're talking about setting up on, on the circle. So setting up in here to make coming out easier. Now, this particular pattern, it's, you know, it's, it's not real complicated. And, and again, I'm not ragging on the pattern. A lot of cones you got. Um, it's awesome. But 
it's coming in on the right and dropping out on the left, so to speak, if you were looking at it from over here. So it's kind of easy because you don't have to make any massive adjustments to drop. It's not like you went uh, in and out in the same area. They made it a little easier for you uh, in, in where you're exiting. So now you come around and you're still somewhat deep. I understand this is kind of a tight circle, but think about that when we talk about setup. Also, we talk about drag racing out of a pattern. How fast are we going here? Look, so accelerate out. Now let's back this up for a second. We talk about where we want to be positioned, okay? So right here, um, if you were to carry more momentum out, so see how you're still finishing your turning movement as you drop into here. That's okay, but let's think about accelerating out of here so we can use this section here as our um, early turning movement. Remember, we've talked about that. So, and you do, you're, you're over here and that's good. Um, but you could probably carry a little bit more speed um, and do what you're doing. Again, more speed's going to compress that front end. Now, for me, I would come out of that. I might have tapped my front brake and that would lower the front forks because it's slowing the bike down. And that's gonna make this bike turn a tighter radius. All those little teeny things are gonna make speeding, uh, help speeding you up. Okay, now we're coming out of here. Um, so you could probably swing out here a little more. You know, again, you're kind of right in the middle. And where are we going? So um, I think we're making a U-turn. Yeah. So this whole section, probably uh, with that clutch popping, getting up over the front of the bike, uh, getting on the front brake to slow it down, all those little things would have sped you up and it definitely would have made getting through there quicker. It would, you would have been working the chassis a little bit more with the suspension, with the motor, with the clutch, but all that, I could have got two, three, four, five tenths of a second on you just in that little section. And again, we win these things on inches, but if you break the course down over time, inches turn into feet and feet turn into seconds. So that's where we want to win. Okay, now this section here, there's no reason why as soon as you came out of here, you shouldn't be accelerating like a beast right here. Look at that. This is not a Sunday stroll. This is a stopwatch. This is a, we're going to win a competition. So to me, what I want to see, you come through here, you're counterbalancing. Once you're here, your head is basically in the windscreen because you're accelerating like a monster out of here. Just driving. This is a drag race right here. It's not a Sunday stroll. This is a drag race. Just that alone, you can save half a second. If you did nothing else and you just drag race through here, half a second, okay? And I understand there's some little chicanes, but that's, you know, little clutch pops. Or again, these chicanes are pretty easy. If you're carrying momentum when you come out of here, remember how I talk about um, taking a straight, narrow section, but I kind of zigzag through it because we don't want to hit these bags back here? You can do the same thing here. Here's your first, here's your first set of cones. You're straight up and down, not a problem. These are slightly offset right here. Okay, that's fine. You come in these at a slight little angle. You're doing that. You could start that back here, starting that sort of that chicane motion uh, so you miss the pegs. Now, all that is a drag race. And, and where are we going? We're going to go right. So why aren't we set way up over here? There's no reason why. You're, so when I came out of here, let me just make sure this is showing you good. So when I come out of here, there's no reason why I shouldn't be moved over here now because I know I'm going to be dropping in over this section here, correct? So right about where this guy's head is, your front tire should be way over there. And let's take a look at where it is. It's not. See all those? You got three feet. We need to be hauling ass over to the side, hard on the front brakes, slowing down because you were doing 35 through this section, not 12. Big difference. Big, big difference. Now... Now, when you're setting up, that front wheel right there should be over here because you're slowing down. And what is this? What is this section we talk about? Watch. See how you set up? You, you went through there. You went through here. And you stood the bike up. No, 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 no. This is all one nice continuous turn. We talked about that. That's what you're going to do here. I know you didn't know these things at the time, but I'm still going to make you punish. I'm going to punish you for it. So you set the bike up. This, to me, I'd be driving hard into this section here. 
on the left hand side, dropping in like a road racer, easing on the brakes, slowing the bike down because I was moving fast. That was a long free space of speed I could have had. And then, and then I'm out here, I'm road racing. This is a nice smooth arc. Now you drop back in, all that. So from, from, um, from here all the way to here, that's one turning movement. You see that? All that is one turn. But here you straightened up, don't need to do that. And you turned and you're straight here. So I'm gonna start leaning and turning right back here, all the way through to here. That's my turn, okay? So now, you know, these are, these are okay. Um, let's just get us through here. So now here, what do we see? What is this? Why aren't we going 40 miles an hour through here? 40 miles an hour all through there. You have now, yes, right here, we're gonna have to slow down and do a little bit of a chicane deal, but that's a high speed section. There's no reason we're not hauling through here. I'll tell you the one reason you're probably not hauling through here is right there. You're not covering the front brake, and I know they're gonna scream and yell at you, but if you don't cover the front brake through here and you go too fast, you're just gonna lock up the rear tire, or you're gonna grab brake and it's, it's just a little sloppier. What I'm suggesting is you come through here, you got the front brake covered, Full throttle, full throttle, full throttle, full throttle. Weights forward over the bike because I'm balance ball. Full throttle. Now I'm going through these light chicanes. That's all fine. I'll break through here. And then uh, you have these chicanes to go through. No problem. We've already hammered the brakes. Now we're into the chicanes again. Just like I talked to you about before with the clutch, popping that to speed the bike up. Lock, 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 lock. Weights up over the bike. You're counterbalanced, slamming the steering. Bam, 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 using the clutch. This is an aggressive deal. We want to rape this course, so to speak. All right, there we go.